Firstly, um, yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm very excited to be um, connecting with you all and teaching you today about the ancient forest of Platforce. And then from um, the, the, the following seminars, we will then dive deeply into the trees and you will, through working with the cards and the mists, really have a sense, I hope, of, of the tree energies. So you will see that um, on the right where uh, there's a little star marking where the forest is and you can see it's directly there in amongst the Cape Floral Kingdom. It's referred to as a relic forest as its presence on the landscape dates back um, to many, many millions of years to when most of the lowlands were forested. In 1999, shortly after the birth of my first child, Ayanda, I wrote down my intention for our future lives. At the time, we were living in Cape Town. So what I wrote down was, we live a few hours drive from Cape Town. There are mountains in the distance and forests of indigenous trees. We live in an ecological house. And it is an example of how to live harmoniously with nature. Here, others learn about plants and nature and of working with them, not against them. There is beauty all around us and what we plant and create grows strong and true and abundantly. It inspires others and aids them in realizing their own dreams. So this I wrote in my book. I put my book away and forgot about it um, shortly after I fell pregnant with my son, who was born in 2002. In, it was December in 2003 that my then husband, Francois and I, came upon the forest quite by chance. We were visiting friends in a nearby village um, for the weekend. Um, and when my father had heard that we were going to be in the area, he asked me to go and have a look for a seaside cottage for him. And that was why we went to see an estate agent um, in Hanspai that weekend. And as we were leaving, I turned around and asked, do you ever find, is there ever indigenous forest for sale? I don't know where the question came from, because if you see Hanspai, there are hardly any, even a tree there, but the question just popped up. Also, as I explained earlier, there is only 0.05% of indigenous forest in the Western Cape. And it's highly unusual to, to find a forest for sale, but the estate agent said, yes, there was. So this was how we found the forest. Um, at, at that time, there was, there was nothing here. There was just a forest. There was no electricity. There was no telephone connection. There was no house. So you can see on the slide on the right um, where the, my house is. It's tucked in under the forest canopy. And as I would walk, I would notice the f tiny, because the tree flowers are very small, I would notice the little tree flowers on the, on the pathways that we'd made as a family. So I would learn which, um, which flowers, you know, which, the, which trees they came from. I also my, I am um, a qualified horticulturalist, so I also could draw on a lot of that um, knowledge as well in getting to know the forest. So I found that certain trees called me at particular times and I would sit with them and write down their messages. A few months after moving to the forest, I consulted a clairvoyant. He told me that the trees wanted to work with me and that I would teach courses on the healing of the forest. Your discovery of the forest healing is the tree's gift to you. Your gift in return will be to share their healing with others. So I wrote this, this poem to, to illustrate this. As the forest exhales, so we inhale. As we exhale, so the forest inhale. In giving, we receive, and in receiving, we give a sacred bond, a delicate balance. 